What is going on everyone, Parsnip here, and today we're gonna go ahead and continue our Let's Build playthrough. This time we are in episode 5 guys, so as you can tell we're finally actually making some progress with the build. Uh, believe it or not, this has been about 11 or 12 hours of total build time, uh, including this episode of course. So as you can imagine, this build is gonna take at least two or three times as long for it to finish, or even more maybe depending uh, how much more stuff I decide to add. So far, however, it is looking uh, pretty cool, at least I personally like it a lot, much better than my original main base. And I feel like this base is coming along to the point that it's gonna have pretty much everything a main base should have. And this is still missing um, a little bit of stuff such as the banner room, uh, the rest of the NPC rooms, and a couple of other stuff like that. So today we're gonna go ahead and just continue to build nothing out of this world besides the ending world. I won't spoil it for you now, however, I do think that the ending bit is coming along really nicely. I really like it. I'll just give you guys a little hint and that it's gonna be with a bit of green. So continuing on, I go ahead and continue with the music box room. Again, this music box room is taking a bit longer than I thought it would be or it would have as there's actually a lot more music boxes um, in the game than what I originally thought there would be. So as you guys can tell, it's not gonna finish on this episode. However, we do Again, we go ahead and just move it forward, I suppose, progress and whatnot. Um, it is a lot more complete than it was originally, and I'm gonna keep doing that, or maybe something a bit different. Not pretty much, I'm just gonna continue how it is now, except add more and fill that up with music boxes. This should be pretty much done on the next episode. Hopefully, I think here there's about half of the music boxes, or a bit over half. So, the size of this room is gonna end up being twice as big. So, uh, the thing that I did add at the top, I'm not sure if I mentioned last episode, was just a little bit more of details and I also did make an opening for people to go in and out of this room uh, through switches and act actuators. Now this might not be the best form to get in and out of this area because you always have to turn on the switch. Uh, however, I didn't want to put player sensors as it would always just open, you would probably fall in if you were just walking around normally or something along those lines. So I go ahead and just put switches, actuators, and connect them all. That way you could go in and out of these rooms. As well as I go ahead and add a bit more details towards this room and that is the entrance where the bottom part opens and what I was talking about so far. I go ahead and add some shelves, some lighting, and uh, some bookshelves. Now what I did notice is that the bottom plate is a bit dark uh, because at the top and even though with the the gem spark walls that I have inside the, the music box or little rooms. At the top I go ahead and add some lanterns for more light but I noticed that at the bottom it is a bit dark so I go ahead and if you notice I put a platform and some candles. Now I don't put that everywhere as I don't think it'll look that amazing however you can see that there is a couple. Next up, I go ahead towards the top and I start to close this side because, well, it's getting a really, or a little bit too tall for my personal taste. Now, I mess around here to figure out what I want. I do decide to keep it a bit tilted and not just a straight up wall. And this is pretty much going to be like a little balcony or platform so you guys could go up and catch some fresh air, something along those lines. Again, uh, I'm just making this as I go along. Towards the side, I'll go ahead and make it even higher, but I just want the dimensions to be like sort of like a staircase or a pyramid, not just a huge ramp at the side. So once I finish that little tower, I go ahead down and continue on with the NPC room. So this is part is gonna probably be going on throughout the series. As long as I continue to progress the house, I'll be making more NPC rooms and more NPC rooms until I have every single NPC room. Now it's like I said in the last episodes, I like to give my NPCs a little bit of space even if this means that they'll be uh, not as clogged in or as, uh, well it won't be as great for you because you'll have to walk a little bit more especially if you need to go to one of the NPCs at the beginning and then another one that's going to be like one of the last rooms I make or something along those lines. However, I do feel like that with all the details that the devs made for the NPCs that it's a great idea to have or to give them some room to interact with. I'm also using the NPCs rooms as an excuse, as you guys already know, 
uh, to go ahead and put different types of furniture. So you can see at the start I have uh, living wood, honey, and marble. At the middle I have dynasty, spooky, and the sky furniture. Um, and on this one I'm going to go ahead and make exactly the same dimensions, leave a corridor, but as always I'm going to change the the things I put in. And inside the corridors, I'm also putting in the pianos and some picture frames. Like, it could be something different than pianos. Um, I have no idea why I picked pianos, but I thought it looked pretty cool. And again, those are different pianos that there are uh, compared to what's in the room. So in the side, I go ahead and make uh, the last three rooms that I'm gonna make for this episode, gold, bone, and flesh. So once I go ahead and finish that up, that's pretty much it for, for those rooms. And I think, um i'm missing a yeah i'm pretty much missing a piano here so i just leave it empty later on i'll get more furniture put them in the chest so once this world is up for download guys you're gonna have a bunch of items in the chest like all furnitures and all stuff like that so next up we go above the rooms and this is what i was telling you guys about at the beginning of the video and this is the part that i really ended up liking how it's looking so far and that's not even complete yet i'm pretty Pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit more of detail. I don't want to clog it up too much. I wanted to make this a little open room that you could just walk through. It's gonna to connect to all the other rooms. And again, I think that if I was able to live inside Terraria, something amazing would be inside my base would be like this little park area that I could just go out there to relax. Now you guys are probably wondering why the hell am I putting these types of things in my house? But well, you know, I'm just trying to make it like if I did live, imagine if you're warped into your Terraria world, would you truly be happy with your house? Or, well, most people would because it's probably 50 times as big as their normal house. However, imagine if you had like a little personal park with waterfalls, lakes and stuff like that inside your house. That would be pretty cool, at least in my opinion. So as you can see, I go ahead and put um, little dirt patches and I go ahead and fill these with grass blocks and I change the background to as well dirt stone and grass now I am gonna put more on the grass one it's gonna be uh, some jungle grass as well later on you'll see in a bit I then leave the open spaces so that you can walk around through the floors of the house which this is gonna connect towards three floors and then I go ahead and add uh, some bridges and the bridges look pretty cool at least in my opinion I then go ahead and come down to the bottom room I go ahead and add some more details because that's empty I'm still gonna add more I really don't like those rooms down below I gotta see what, what I'm gonna do with that then I come back down add some more details some corals some plants and so far along this is really coming along well and it's like I said these bridges that I made um, just something that I placed and ended up messing around with and ended up looking pretty good and again, as you guys can see, I'm just always constantly trying to change this. So I did want to finish the, the dwarf section or the mini dwarf city here with another mine. Uh, the reason why is because I don't want to make this super long as it is pretty pointless. It's much like the garden upstairs. Um, it doesn't have a real purpose besides aesthetics. So I think this is pretty much going to be the end for the... Uh, the miniature dwarven fortress or city or whatever this is. So this is going to have a total of two mines, um, a room for the demolitionist, a treasure room, a bridge that goes over a bridge, and a mini miniature weapons room at the start and towards where the, again, the demolitionist is at. You can also see that I placed some mannequins and stuff like that. So here I'm pretty much doing some terraforming for the... The second mine now this mine is a bit bigger than the other one it is not complete yet i am going to do the same thing as i did on the first run i'm going to make that black cave entrance for the mine cart to go in i think that's a pretty cool feature in it it makes it look like the cave goes on even longer if you take the mine cart inside however these are pretty much old as you can see the mine carts are broken they look a little bit abandoned and that's pretty much the theme that i want to go with uh these caves pretty much so as you guys can pretty much tell, there is grass here. I do plan on removing them. Hopefully I remember to do this on the next episode or whenever I decide to finish this. But I go ahead, place some details, some mine cards, and I'm pretty much set with, well, with this second mine shaft. But yeah, guys, I would just like to thank you all as always for the amazing suggestions. As always, I would love to thank you guys for always watching, commenting, 
And as always, if you do have more suggestions or idea, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.